and it looks spectacular. Wow, it looks good. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. I'm that car guy, Tim. Today we're down at Sun Valley Nissan. My friends down here are hooking me up with a few little labor parts because Black Gold is getting some new shoes. Okay, so these rims here and the rubber, they come factory with the Pro 4X. They come factory with winter rated tires. Now those tires have the little mountain peaks on them and those in M&S are mandated by the government here in British Columbia for winter driving. Now, those are great for winter, but I don't really want to run those in the summertime. And those are the factory rims, they look good, but uh, I think it's time for a little upgrade, don't you think? Yeah! All right, so those puppies there, two of those are gonna be the spare tires for the truck, and uh, there's gonna be four of those beauties on black gold. It's gonna look great. The offset is gonna be just right. We need some bigger lug nuts though. That's the only thing. Uh, we test fitted it over at uh, Mark II's place and uh, well, Frontier Mark and it, whew, it looked good. Now the set that's actually gonna go on the truck, that already has some rubber on it. I bought it from a guy in Hosmer for a hundred bucks and a case of beer. And uh, the rims I got from Frontier Mark so uh, yeah, it was all his idea. I was thinking about his ponder and he's like, hey, check out this ad, see if you like it. And I did. All right guys, here's the plan with what's happening with the rubber. Let me show you. So these rims here, you can see they're on rubber right now. These are the ones that I got for a hundred bucks in a case of beer. Now, two of those right there, they have okay tread on them. And obviously over here, these are the good tires. These are the ones I got off Frontier Mark. They are BF Goodrich All-Terrain TAs, and they are gonna look sick. Okay guys, the rims are on, the rubber is on, and it looks spectacular. You should have seen my face when I first saw it. Man, it was, I don't even know if I can replicate it. It's one of those faces that's just one of a kind. You gotta be there, but, Wow, it looks good. We ran into a few little hiccups putting the tires on. Uh, we had to put some spacers in the front. There's about eight millimeters of spacer in the front. Uh, we're gonna get some for the back in a little bit. Uh, right now with the bug happening, I don't wanna spend too much money on the truck right now, mainly just wash it, keep it fueled, keep it running sort of thing. But uh, as this was in the works before the bug hit the area, we went through with it anyways. Now, there is a little bit of a rubbing issue. I'll get to that in a second, but I know what you're itching for. I know what you're itching for. You want to see it, right? Okay, here it goes. Here's the go. Here goes a big reveal in three, two, one, and woo! Look at that truck. Beautiful. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit about the tire. These here are BF Goodrich All-Terrain TA KO2s. Uh, they are the LT265 75 R16s. They got a really meaty tread. Now, I got these off Mark T. You'll remember them from a few off-road videos that uh, we've been doing. And uh, they're great. I uh, got the rims off a guy up in Hosmer. They're used, but you know what? They're still in pretty good shape considering they're the Ion Alloys. Um, I have another set that I got as well. Those are gonna be used for the spares. Now, the only issue with the fitment on this is yeah, we had to put about an eight millimeter spacer in between here and the actual truck. That's because it was rubbing on the calipers. Now we test fit it over at Mark T's place, but it didn't have the pressure of the whole vehicle. We didn't set it all the way down. So. It was rubbing on the calipers. 
another issue that we found out later was that it was rubbing on the back mud flap and it's rubbing right now on this. So this here is next to go. super stoked i gotta thank mark t for hooking me up and uh helping me make this a little bit of a dream a reality like the stock tires they were great stock rims amazing but i wanted to make this truck a little bit more my own and hey this is just first step <laughs>